But first, a disturbing find, bags of human remains discovered inside an apartment refrigerator. The shocking crime now unraveling in Brooklyn. Good to have you with us. I'm Adam Cooperstein. Police say it was a Crime Stoppers tip that led investigators to that apartment inside a building on Nostrand Avenue on Monday. News Force Chris Jose live in Flatbush now in Brooklyn with what a woman who lives there, Chris, told police after finding that in the fridge. Right, Adam, and to be clear here, there does not appear to be any kind of threat or danger to the public. According to law enforcement sources, this was a dispute over drugs between two people. You can see the crime scene unit remains on the scene. The medical examiner right now in the process of piecing the body back together for further examination. NYPD made the gruesome discovery on Monday at an apartment right here on Nostrand Avenue in Flatbush. Body parts, including someone's head, stuffed in a refrigerator. An anonymous tip to Crime Stoppers leading police to the apartment. Law enforcement sources telling News 4 a woman who lives there let officers in and they immediately noticed a taped up refrigerator. Sources say cops arrested that woman when she became combative. Police say when officers opened the fridge, they found black plastic bags containing body parts. The woman now in police custody and undergoing psychiatric evaluation, telling investigators the body belonged to a local drug dealer who had a dispute with her husband last September. Law enforcement sources adding the woman claims her husband killed the man and stored the body. She also told detectives she did not witness the killing and her husband is currently in prison in Virginia. According to law enforcement sources, investigators have identified the victim as Kaushin Kel uh, Kaushin Gelzer, his distinctive tattoos helping with the ID process. He was previously arrested for dice throwing and also assaulting a police officer. Unclear right now when the actual murder took place. We're live in Flatbush. Chris Jose, News 4 New York.